Hey everyone, this is Joe over at Synergy 17, and today I'm going to show you um, a, a new macro that I worked on. Um, it's part of an existing one. I had one called Designer I made a while back, but um, a couple of the features on it weren't that useful, so I made a little bit more compact version of it uh, for doing knockouts, and I also added a new feature about keeping the full design. So I'm going to show you how this works right now. So let's go ahead and get started. So. In case you didn't know, the Open A's is my favorite team, so I'm just going to go ahead and make something uh, based upon them. So let's make this about nine inches wide. I'm going to tighten this up a little bit. Okay. So let's go over the two differences between Knockout Designer and Pattern Maker. The pattern maker allows you to make your own patterns, put them in a folder, and it comes with tons of tons of different patterns already, but you can make your own if you want. Um, let's go ahead and just show you what this does here. Go ahead and pick red. Um, if I want to preview a pattern, I just hit preview. For example, if I want to know what this arrows is, I could preview it. And let me get it down here. And it shows you that it's just arrows. If I want to know what the chevron look like, uh, there's different chevrons. Look at Chevron Funky. That's what it looks like. That's what that one looks like. So that's what the preview does. Just if you want to see what the pattern looks like. When you're ready to apply it, um, you just click on the item you want, and I'll zoom in and say apply, and then you'll see that it applies it here. So let's undo that. Let's choose a different Chevron pattern. Apply. And you can see it here. Right now, it's just currently overlaid on it. If you wanted to, you could knock it through. So if I went back to that funky pattern, this one here, if I click also trap and I click this and apply, it'll actually cut it out. So you'll see that it's two separate pieces where they're just, it's kind of like trapped within it. Versus when I don't have the trap and I hit apply, it's just sitting on top of it. So you'd cut this out, then just put this one right on top. So that's what the uh, pattern uh, maker does. You just choose, I mean, there's, I have things like polka dots in here. Um, I can choose that, I can change the color, you know, pretty simple. And then apply that pattern and add polka dots. So really basic. You can, but there's a folder you can put whatever, you know, whatever, uh, tiger stripes, tiles, polka dots, whatever pattern you want. Lots of different stuff in there. So that's what that side does. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. The knockout you've also seen before. Um, let me create something simple like let's make a heart. And we'll make this red and make the heart, I don't know, blue or something. So I'm going to make this a little bigger. And I'm going to make two of them. And let's keep them pretty close. Okay. So let's see, let me break it apart real fast. I just want to put it a little closer. Okay. So you've seen this before where we take this and we simply say knockout design. And what that does is it punches it through. There's an offset right here of 0.05. That's what creates that line around it. Okay, I'm going to undo that and take out the offset, either make it zero or just delete it. And what that does is that uh, doesn't put a trim around it. So if I say knockout, it puts it right up against that. So you can see that there's no gap there. So that's what the knockout does. It's just a quick way. It, it's You can do it in Curl without macros. You can trim and, and weld and do all, all kinds of stuff. But this one here just makes it a little faster. So point, oops, like zero, point zero 0.05. Okay, so like I said, what that does is that will... Um, put that little gap in there. So that's cool and you can do other things like that but let's say um, I'm going to use a font I'm going to use a, a wingding font, a baseball one here and let's take a look at this. Oops. So we have this guy here. Well I showed you what would happen if you made him small and fit inside, but if he was too big, this is what happens, which is not probably what you want. Watch. Let's see if I took both of these and I said knock it out. 
that's what you get. And that's probably not what you want. And that's what you want, that's what you want but most people, that's not what they want. So we have this option that says Keep Full Design. So what that does is you check that box and select it, and then you knock it out. It keeps the entire design, so you have the top part and his feet, but then you still have this part knocked out within him. Let's see there. So, and if I say don't put the offset, it's the same type of thing. You'll get a little offset around the lettering, but within it, you won't get it. You won't get uh, any uh, gap in there. So see, see right here, you have the gap around the letters, but inside the uh, words right here, you don't have any gap. And I'll show you, let me, let me make two of these so you can see the difference. So I'll do one knockout without a gap, and I'll do this bottom one with a gap. So if you see, let's see, I don't know if you can see that very good, but let me see, move it closer. So if you see right here, like along the T, it's touching, the black and the red's touching, but along this one here, there's a gap in it. So that's the difference of whether you want an offset or not. Anyways, uh, I made this little tool, really quick and way of doing stuff. Uh, it only takes seconds. So anyways, enjoy.